Georgie, Georgie. No, not Tiani. Yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome to George Hamilton III. He has his very own soap, by the way. It's like a cherry almond smell. So George, I found on the side of the road when I was driving, when I did housework and design work, and he was just literally in this tiny little cage in Riverside. And I was like, whoa, this poor little pig, it's so small and he looks so dirty. And it was like, I'm like, this pig's so dirty. I really didn't know much about pigs. So I'm holding him next to my face in the car ride home, like all excited. Come to find out he's infested with scabies. Yeah, which is very contagious to humans as well. So George had scabies and I had scabies and we were scaby friends. Um, so scabies are a type of bug that actually goes under your skin. It sounds horrible because it is. And what happens is, especially with pigs, is it starts to infect things and they can lose like legs. They can actually die from them. But one of the things that it infected was this cute little piggy tail right here. Look at this little tail. So it um, actually turned gangrene and fell off. Um, and that was the first thing. I was treating him with a special shampoo. George is picking out his bath toy. <laughs> he went to vet visits. Uh, I treated myself with the same shampoo and we just got better slowly but surely we got better and he just turned into this beautiful gorgeous pig that you see today. George is so very special to this farm. He is actually a troublemaker, don't tell. Actually, George only likes me on this farm, let's be real, me, Denise and I pretty much, but it took Denise a while, our animal care specialist. I'm sorry, George, you just got neutered. He's not very happy right now. But he is a very grumpy old man. Doesn't like his cheeks touched. Um, he kind of likes people when he touches cheeks. But he loves children, which is so neat. So I love George. He is a spoiled little brat. He used to live in the house. George, George, can, can we talk about the kitchen? What, what happened in here? He used to sleep in the bed with my kids. In. It's weird, I think Remington got a new stuffed animal. And then my husband, Jonathan, made a move out because he was like, no more pigs in the house, which was like, so unfair, but you know, whatever. So we're in the process of making a Pigtopia section. So that way we could have all our spoiled pigs loving life, but George really likes his life out here. He rules the farm. He's kind of like the king of farmhouse rescue. Um, he knows what's going on. He'll keep you in line. And George is just all sorts of personality of goodness right here. Well, a friend of mine just told me the positive is that, George, I won't have to put away fall decor because you're probably going to eat it all. Aren't you, Georgie? Look at the little Georgie Porgy. Look at Missy. Look at these ferocious teeth. He just got these. He's like, I just got these. He loves when you tickle his ears. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, mom, you're embarrassing me. 